everyone i am ss kiran i would like to explain how to design a basic simlink block in matlab okay these discussions may helpful for to design all type of blocks okay first double click on matlab 2010 okay now uh, this is command window first you have to design one basic simlink block then you have to type here simlink okay then simlink library will be open okay see here uh, there is a, some status will be displayed now after typing the simlink word then it will be slowly open okay then it will be take some time okay yes, please, please be patient okay now this is simlink library browser okay in this browser we can observe all type of blocks like uh, some commonly used blocks okay some discontinuous discrete logic maps all those things we can observe here now we have to design a basic simlink block okay first here uh, click new model see here click new model okay then here you have to uh, save any name okay then click this save button see here control or control s okay uh, name as some file name your wish okay uh, then take any uh, folder in desktop uh, create one empty desktop like uh, basic uh, models okay uh, right name here mm, basic models okay basic models uh, then here uh, write uh, first model okay first one first model then click save button okay after that now this is a, a basic model okay now you have to design uh, one some basic uh, model by using a sinusoidal wave uh, to increase the amplitude by simply adding gain okay uh, let us take some input sources okay this is sources uh, take one sine wave uh, take from here one sine wave just simply drag and drop here this is input wave this is better you can analog something okay then you can observe clearly then after that uh, then you have to see output okay you have to see output after that uh, just you can add gain also gain block you can observe in commonly used blocks okay in that uh, see, this is the gain block simply uh, click here and simply drag and drop here for the understanding purpose just you can log this one okay you will get some clarity okay then after that you have to observe this output waveform in this you can click here sinks okay in that sinks uh, you, you can uh, drag and drop this scope block okay this scope block okay uh, better you can analog this one okay a little bit large okay now it is our basic blocks now you have to connect each and every block uh, before going to the this block first you have to convert uh, this uh, scope actually the scope having only one input now you have to convert into uh, two uh, inputs two input scope how it will be just double click on this one then uh, here there is uh, some uh, parameters are there parameters icon click here uh, just in that some axis is there uh, uh, type uh, and remove one and type two apply here okay now see here you can expect two outputs then you can close here okay now uh, first you have to connect uh, gain 
from sign uh, output to this gain okay and then next uh, this gain output is connect is connected to scope uh, one point okay this is one and and then the simultaneously you have to check uh, input also okay uh, this sign uh, amplitude is around 2 okay then click ok uh, this gain uh, you can take around uh, 3 okay then output will be at 3 to the 6 uh, 6 volts amplitude you may expect okay or current okay uh, then you can see uh, parallelly you can observe input waveform also okay uh, then simply uh, take one wire from scope second point to uh, this input point okay this input point now this is fair now just simply uh, for uh, looking purpose slightly uh, drop here okay this is the basic block now uh, by executing this program this is the run button and we can call it as a simulation button okay now you can click start simulation before start simulation you can click here scope okay now uh, just you have to analyze something you will get some clarity uh, now uh, this is the output waveforms you can observe here when just you can click the start button here right okay uh, see here this is the uh, block diagram this is the output waveforms for uh, just, just here just click this one analog button see here the amplitude uh, here the amplitude is uh, 6 volts 6 volts uh, here input waveform amplitude is 2 2 gain is 3 okay then 2 3 is a 6 that's why you can expect 6 volts this is the output waveform this is the input waveform right if you want to see both uh, waves in a single graph simply you can use some um, mux here okay okay this is the uh, one way to observe both outputs in different graphs okay i will show uh, another uh, method also how we can design okay just th remove this uh, wire and remove uh, this wire also now what we can do here uh, simply uh, this is converted into a single axis okay now this is converted into a single axis this is uh, okay one then apply okay it converted to single one now uh, close this scope uh, in come to the commonly used blocks in this block uh, okay mm, we can expect uh, some mux here see simply drag and drop here uh, for the clarity purpose simply just you can analyze this one okay simply analyze this one okay this is scope mm. now uh, uh, okay now this uh, this output okay let's just is this input you have to connect like this input is over then this output is also connected to here like this okay fire this is very fair now uh, this output is connected this max output is connected to scope okay see here now your block is simple block is ready just a little bit drag here right okay now uh, you can uh, click the scope here now you can uh, start the simulation okay observe here start the simulation Uh, output waveform. See here, the input waveform is uh, two, uh, two amp to uh, some scale amplitude. Now this is the output waveform six. This is the way uh, to uh, observe uh, both uh, graphs in a single, both out waveforms in a single graph. Okay, keep watching. Uh, I will update uh, all type of uh, videos. These discussion, these basic uh, discussions may helpful for in your. Uh, uh, engineering projects and mtech projects also okay thank you so much thank you